objects and I'm their queen and I want them to be respected and treated well and you know this is their country. And so two years later, in 1893, the American military staged a coup uh, and the gunboats and the US Marines came uh, and they overthrew Lilio Kalani, threw in jail, and we basically annexed the Hawaiian Islands. Uh, and so uh, Mark Twain called it a revolution by sugar for sugar and of sugar because the sugar cane companies profited immeasurably from it happening, right? Uh, and so on the one hand, uh, this is, is, you can look at this in a variety of ways. Uh, Hawaii uh, becomes uh, not a monarchy, and America had always established that maybe monarchies are not that great. Uh, and in the 20th century, uh, you can say that Hawaii became an American state. Uh, and has prospered immensely from its close association with the United States of America. Uh, and many, many people from Hawaii serve in the United States military and are very proud of that service. I uh, have relatives that serve in the Hawaiian military, or the Hawaiian relatives that serve in the military. Uh, but at the same time, if you're Hawaiian and you sort of learn about your past, your, your people's past, the, the Americans came, jacked up your country, and took it over. Basically, the next you without, without really your permission, uh, right? Uh, and so as a consequence, that is a little bit difficult, right? Did you have a question, by the way? Uh, I thought you had your hand raised. Yes? I have a comment. I lived there for nine years, mm -hmm. and when I first moved there, like, locals would, I, I've had, like, milkshakes thrown on me. They're like, go home, Holly. Yeah. Like, they, there's still such an animosity. Well, a lot of it is not is the kind of thing for a lot of people that they don't really learn about it in school yeah. because that's just not the sort of thing that's taught. I mean, they learn American history like we learn American history yeah. because it's an American state. But then when you become old enough to sort of go find all this stuff out on your own, you really like, how do you feel about this? Like, you, you know, you serve in the military. I heard a guy interviewed in NPR and he's like, I serve in the military and I'm proud to be a member of the U.S. military and wore the flag on my uniform. But at the same time, like, I'm a Hawaiian guy and the military like killed people like me for yeah. basically no reason other than not wanting to be bossed around in their own country. And so you feel very ambivalent. And of course, we don't do colonies in America because we were a former colony. But if you're a person of Hawaiian descent, you would be like, yeah. like, yeah, you kind of do because Hawaii. And of course, we call it. It's a. It's not a. It's a. It's a territory. It's a territory, which is like the most yeah. bullshit name ever, right? It's like it's not a colony. It's a territory. Well, I mean, yeah, but if you run it, you don't let the people do what they want. It's kind of colony. Uh, and so uh, we will return, of course, to talk about Hawaii a little bit because uh, thanks to our military presence in Hawaii, uh, it becomes uh, a target for the Japanese, right? Uh, and then after the war, uh, there's this thinking that, gosh, we really owe the Hawaiians. We, should, we sort of got them in a the war and it was really bad. So we should really pay it back by making them a state, right? Hawaii should become a state. That would be the, the best thing to do. Uh, and so ironically, there's 48 states. Hawaii would become state number 49. There's just a problem. So the senators from the American South they, they have a problem with making Hawaii a state. And what would the problem be? Does anyone have an idea why they would not like it if Hawaii became a state? It's an odd number. It's an odd number. That would definitely bother me, right? But what's weird about Hawaii if you made Hawaii a state? Like, what it's would not make... A part of the, the it's not a part of the continental United States. Right. You'd have to be at the and, like, who lives in Hawaii? Not white people. Not white people. Right. And so you get a bunch of Southern senators from Georgia and Alabama, and they're like, I don't know about letting a bunch of brown people into America. And so the deal that they reach, actually, is that if we're going to bring Hawaii in into the Union as the, as the 49th state, and there's another piece of territory that we can bring in as the 50th state that's basically full of white people that will balance it out, and it's Alaska. And so that way, you'll bring in Hawaii with some white people, or with some brown people, and you bring in Alaska with some white people, so it's fine, right? And it turns out, by the way, are there not white people that live in Alaska also? Yeah, Indians, but remember, we don't actually right. care about them. They don't actually care, right? Uh, and so the, the literal argument used for justifying Hawaii and bringing Hawaii into the state is like, obviously, we sort of owe them, and it's like, this is a way to make it up to them and say, look, we, we know there's some problems, but be an American state, you know, elect senators, become citizens of the United States of America, you guys fought in World War II and everything. Uh, but to assuage uh, uh, people who have reservations about the ethnic makeup of Hawaii, we bring in Alaska. And when we bring in Alaska, we're really thinking about like the fishermen and the whalers and the guys in like Juneau and Anchorage. We're not really thinking about the Inuit, who sort of, uh, it, it's understood, but would kind of only not really count anyway, right? It's sort of not really would be the same thing. Right? Uh, and then remember, Alaska's great because uh, Alaska's a giant frozen wasteland full of like polar bears and stuff, and also oil, uranium, and gold. Uh, so it turns out like probably we would want that, right? Um, so having said that, we've, we've sort of seen a couple instances where you can really see the kind of principles that America seems to be founded by kind of in the, in the, in the breach, maybe, in, the, in the, uh, the dirty real world becoming a little bit of a problem, right? Um, so uh, why don't we take a 10 minute break when we come back, we will talk about some, some more ideas about why we would do this, and then we'll have our case study of the Spanish-American War that will illustrate this really, really well. Uh, there's not a better example I can use 